Arm Swap. Are you running on a hamster wheel, wanting a different life? Would you like to swap your shoebox apartment for a country house? Or your country house for an elite apartment? Or maybe replace your elite apartment with a tent in an open field? In our project, anything is possible. We are not bathing our children for three days. We'll enjoy the view and then go back to our trash heap. Nikita! What is wrong with you? Are you insane? Our new season of Home Swap will feature people exchanging homes, not only across Russia, but also with people in other countries. With Japanese, Russians and Japanese, brothers forever, Panamanians, the Dutch, the Africans. Get off the wheel. And break out of your routine. Let's go, go, go. Let's do the home swap. I am stunned. Goats. Well, where are they? Home swap. Meet the Bunyakov family. Igor and Svetlana, who are both 35 years old, and their children, Nikita, 14 years old, Renat, 9 years old, and Dobrynya, 4 years old. They live in the village of Cepeli, located about 75 miles from Minsk, and their house is a literal zoo. We are the Bunyakovs. And our house is a zoo. The house's area is 915 square feet, three bedrooms, a kitchen-living-room combo, a bathroom, and an impressive number of animals occupying about 130 square feet. Dad once had a backache and the doctor advised him to ride a horse. Then we decided to buy a pony for our children. Then we bought a donkey. And we just kept on going. Dad bought pigs, sheep, ducks. And then Dad went on to buy the most terrible animal. Isabella, where are you? I decided that our zoo needed an exotic touch of sorts. Bastard. Just five years ago, Igor and Svetlana were living in Minsk, but after Dobrynya's birth, they decided to bring children up as truly capable and responsible, and they knew the concrete jungle would be of no help with this. That is why Igor sold their flat and bought a house in the village. The house cost him about $75,000, and he doesn't regret buying it at all. It was terrifying at first. I was so scared that village life wasn't for us, but Igor is our tower of strength. So we decided to try it, and well, this life is perfect. Watch your posture. Turn around, your posture. Gallop. Good. Well done, good job. You ride like a cowboy. You only need a gun and a hat. Our children forgot about electronic gadgets. They don't need them. Now we just take a horse out in the open fields. Yeah. That's the true taste of Mother Russia. Here are our donkeys, Mary and her daughter Gerda. Here. Aha, good girl. Oh, look who's here. Isabella. That's a camel. Come on, Papa, show us how it's done. No, thank you. Don't be scared. I'll leave it to you, honey. We allow visitors in our zoo on the weekends and holidays. Friday is our big cleanup day. That's the hardest day here. We're not. Bring me a bucket and a dustpan. I'll sweep the piles and you can gather them. Got it. Nikita, where's the sawdust? Here. This is hard work. We have to clean the rabbits and raccoons' enclosures. And the horses' stables, too. As well as the horses themselves. And the camel. And she really loves laying in the dirt. Oh, so you want to get a neck scratch? Come on, I'll scratch you. My little girl. Is that how you like it? You like that? Of course you do. Isabella is our star. We were all scared of her at first. She is pretty big after all. But she's my best friend now. I'm the one who takes care of her now. The boys are still scared that she'll spit on them. <laughs> the boys may be scared of Isabella, but they find Svetlana much more fearsome. That is why each man in the house takes care of his own animals, his own zone of responsibility. We have a bull. His name is Gavrusha. I bought him myself after I saved up $130. I bought Muscovy ducks. Their eggs are delicious and healthy. Igor bought the rest of the animals. Even though Svetlana bought none of them, she is still in charge of their little zoo. Here, to the right. A little to the right. Here. Here, pour it. No, not like that. In the middle. Right. Come on, come on, pour it. Here. Right here. I love it when everything is done my way. I clean them. Shouted us. Myself. Yeah, whenever you mess up. Angry hag. 
A zoo can't go without a leader. Their visitors may see it as an adventure, but for its owners, especially Svetlana, it is a great burden of responsibility. Of course our children help. Igor helps me with just about everything, but I'm still only human, and I want to get some rest with my family. We have never gone on a vacation together. Life in a village may be perfect, but there are no days off. However you might feel, you always need to feed, clean, look after your animals. It would be great to get some actual rest. To the Bunyakovs, home swap is not merely a rare chance to go on a family vacation. To Svetlana, it is an opportunity to leave her role of the strict zoo manager to be a loving wife and a mother. Home swap. And this is the Kravchenka family. Andre, an owner of a fast food restaurant chain who is 35 years old. His wife Yevgenia, an owner of a clothing brand who is 34 years old. And their three children, Paulina, six, Milana, three, and Pavel, who is just one year old. They live in a glass house with panoramic windows overlooking a forest, 12 miles from Yekaterinburg. We are the Kravchenkos. We have been together for 15 years. We live in a modular house near Yekaterinburg. This means that a company just brought us a ready-made house. How much does it take to build a house? Just sign a contract and three months later you are all set. We moved in, cleaned up and went to sleep. A neighbor came by and told us I was gone for just two weeks and now there is a new house. How? The house is rather small, just 700 square feet. Still it has a bedroom, a children's room, a bathroom with a toilet, and a kitchen-living room combo. This $60,000 beauty made the family give up not only curtains and a fence, but also their city apartment. I convinced Andre to sell our old flat. When I first suggested that idea, he said, what, are you crazy? But he gave in in the end. When she got pregnant with Pavel, our third child, she said, I'm not living in a city with three kids. The Kravchinkas have never regretted moving to the forest. Being so remote from a city never got in the way of Yevgenia's career. Hello, Anne. You won't believe this, but I'm doing a summer collection. I really love that print fabric. Let's try it. Oh, if they're out of stock, we can look for something in the other factory. I was a stylist for seven years. More often than not, it involved field work. I had to visit my clients, and then slowly but surely, I got into designing clothes and creating my own brand. Now I can work remotely. Andre can't work remotely, but to much of his family's joy, he can occasionally bring work home. What are you cooking? Pad Thai noodles. This is our new dish. We'll be serving it in boxes. We own a fast food chain, and I usually try new foods out on my friends and family. Hmm, I love it. I would add it both to our restaurant and your restaurant. Yes! Yes! Yekaterinburg is 10 miles away, but the village is also quite an active place. It has stores, pubs, and even a zoo. Additionally, Yevgenia regularly holds outdoor art classes together with her numerous friends. Today, we'll be making an album. Take this sticky bit and put on the picture right here. Now choose. What do you want to draw with? Marker, pens, or oil paints? Marker pens! We held a Christmas-themed workshop. I invited my friends with their children, and we made decorations. Then we had a family portrait exhibition. By the way, I think we should hang our portrait too. Well, that'll take a while. <laughs> Even though the modular house is fully furnished and doesn't require any further additions, Yevgenia is still eager to renovate it, and she is very vocal about it. Pavel, let's clean up here. This damn shelf again? Andre, how many times do I...? What? It's still lying there as it always was. So do you want me to clean up or put up the shelf? Tell me. You should have put it up long ago. Please. Andre is still too much of a city person. There is no way you can get him to do anything. When you live in a city, you can just call a master, but it's not always possible here. Can you go faster? Darling, why is it lopsided? It isn't lopsided, it's just the light. I'm not a technical person, so here is your shelf, honey. There are still some things that simply cannot wait. Yevgenia sees home swap as a chance to prove to her husband that their lives are easier than most people's. Home swap. According to the rules of this project, two families swap their houses and lifestyles, cars, household problems, and sometimes even leisure activities. Both families also leave each other the amount of money they usually spend themselves in three days. How much money should we leave? Forty dollars will do. What do you mean? This is a forest. I thought we'd at least leave 210. Are you insane? That's 70 dollars a day. And what if our guests have guests? Who's going to come here in this weather? Let's leave 170 dollars. No more than 70. No. Even with the guests. Food. You don't know how many kids they have. Let's leave 140. No less. Come on. Come on. Okay. Imagine they leave you 50 dollars. I'll see how well you survive on that. 
How much do we leave? I say $60. What? $60 for three days in a village? Are you kidding me? We don't even have a store. There is an auto parts shop. That's too much. 40 then? Maybe we shouldn't leave anything. They'll earn money from their visitors. Let's leave something at least. We have food. $5. $5? That's too little. What he said. I won $25. Here. As you wish. That's not a lot of money. Home swap. To make sure the houses are returned to their owners in their original states and that their guests fully experience another way of life, the families each write down instructions for their guests. As proof that they have followed them, they will leave photos for one another. Kravchenko. Yes? Since you're cooking all the time, I think we can make a whole house roll out of it. Something like, on the weekends, the father cooks. Let it be, peel off. According to the rule of our house, the father cooks pilaf on the barbecue grill. Take a picture next to the carriage. They should see how to receive properly guests when they come. First one. The father harnesses the horses and gives the guests. Rides. Carriage rides. Rides. Andre, take a picture of us. This is going to be a great shot. According to the rule of our house, we engage in creative activities on the weekends. Igor, come on, take a picture of me next to the broom. Rule number two, all animals must be fed and taken care of. The mother does it. Yes, she also cleans after them. And makes food. Autumn is here in full. It's time to redecorate the house. According to the rule of our house, the mother is responsible for the house's seasonal decorations. We are Belarusians, we must mention potatoes. Or what will they think of us? We are true Belarusians. These are our potatoes. They can harvest them. Come on, say cheese. One, two. Everything's good. Three. Rule number three. It's time for the harvest. Make use of the horses. Everyone already got their potatoes but us. My dream is to visit a place with a sauna. I don't care about anything else. Probably one of my greatest fears is ending up in a house with a lot of animals. Children are more than enough. I can handle anything, just not animals. I think we would like to end up in a house that is very different from ours, a place where we wouldn't have many responsibilities. I mean, nothing scares us. Except for crocodiles. Home swap. We listened to what the families wished for. The Bunyakovs travel to the Urals, and Yevgenia Kravchenka, who is ready for anything except for animals, will temporarily be in charge of a zoo near Minsk. Welcome to your new homes. Day one. Han, are we going in? Come on. Wait up. So this is a village. I see a lot of outbuildings. I'm fine with that. I was not, but I tried to look on the bright side. Oh, I love the terrace. They have a terrace. A house without a terrace is no house at all. They have electricity. I loved that this was not a ramshackle house. Who's going to be first? Who's the bravest? It's like visiting my granny. The first things I spotted were the small kitchen, the pink walls, and the lack of a coat hanger at the entrance. Where do we put our things? This is set up strangely. Looks like this is the living room with a big table. Congrats, I think everyone will fit here. Look, they have one burner like we do, but the kitchen looks smaller. So wait a second. Do they have running water? Yes, they do, and it's warm. Oh, thank God. Of course, I would have preferred a more fashionable place, some kind of a country villa. A castle. Yes, yes, yes. The kitchen, the atmosphere, I didn't like it very much. Just find a toilet, please. Ah, oh, wait, and what is here? A toilet. They have one, thank God. And what's here? What is this, a bathroom? I had so many fears running through my head, but they were all dispelled. Is this a children's room or isn't it? I'll sleep here. <laughs> I think there'll be enough space for us girls. Let's look around some more. Oh, this must be the bedroom. I want to look out the window. Get out of here, fly. We quickly noticed that there was an enormous number of flies. They were literally everywhere. This seems to be the yard. I'll go last if you don't mind since I'm a little scared. Oh, look, cats. Oh, kittens, hello. Is this their mom? Okay, I can handle cats. Tell me there isn't anything else. Let's go back inside. It stinks out here. It's all the fertilizers. There was a very strong animal smell. This is a farm. A part of me was trying to deny it, but it's true. Rabbits. Look at that raccoon, the whiskers. I hope they can look after themselves for the next three days. Pretty please? Here, hold your son for a second. That's what I like. That's what I want. 
Hello, what's your name? What is that carriage here for? We saw a white carriage. We couldn't understand its purpose. Yeah, we had no idea. A carriage in the yard located right next to the horse stables? What could it possibly be used for? A mystery for the ages. That is just what I was afraid of. Andre, who lives here? This looks like it's for something big. Pins are always used to hold large animals. I was thinking, let it be a cow. Wow. It's a camel. A camel in a Belarusian village? That was a shocker. Watch your mouth. I hope we just wandered off onto someone else's land. I felt this wild primal fear. I knew we would have to feed all of them, clean up after them. I didn't even want to think about it. While Yevgenia is trying not to think about what life will be like on the farm, the Bunyakovs are approaching their new home. I wonder what we swapped our house for. I bet it's going to be a tent. That is our new home. Wow. Guys. What is this? So we see a house and it's fully made of glass. You can see the house from the forest. They don't have either a dog or a fence. So unusual. Nothing like what they have in Belarus. A house made very secure thanks to its fence and its battle camel. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Nice. Stop fighting. This chair is mine. Get up. No. Stop fighting. I'll take that chair. Look after your bicycle. Imagine a house like this on an ocean shore, but the forest is nice too. This is great. A beautiful house straight out of a fairy tale. It is a real forest outside. Mushrooms right under your feet. Oh guys, look, a grill. Get the keys. Let's go inside. It doesn't open. We could get a glass cutter. Oh, it's so warm. So pretty. Look at these windows, they're gorgeous. And it must be really scary here at night without a fence and all. This was very new to us. The view outside the window is awesome. You feel one with nature. But the lack of curtains is something we need to get used to. Look, the kitchen, just for you. I was so worried since we only have one burner. But it's all the same here. Look, Igor, they have a pot valley stove. It's a very good stove. We can sit down and enjoy the fire. Nice and warm. Who sleeps here? That's the children's room. And this is the bedroom. That is where the couple sleeps. Thanks to the bed, we knew they had a small child. Yeah, that is the couple. Did you see? Andre and Yevgenia. The bed, it overlooks the forest. Guys, they have panoramic windows in front of their bed. It's insane. It overlooks the forest. Look, to be honest, I find it a little creepy. What if someone peeps on us? Of course, this is a little bit disconcerting. Probably added some bars, too. Of course, the view from the windows is fantastic. But if it had been my house, I would have bought two guard dogs and built an eight-foot fence. The dogs should be the only ones looking out. Kids room. Guys, they have three kids. Pavel, Milana, and Polina. They probably wanted a boy, but they got all girls. And we could use a girl. With a husband like you, I'm always ready. Mom, may I play? The kids' room was very cute. There were so many new toys to keep our youngest busy. Home swap. While Dobrynya was exploring the children's room, his elders are more interested in learning the budget and the rules of the house. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. More than you wanted to leave them. That's great. To be honest, they wouldn't have anywhere to spend the money. We have food. We have our zoo. Yeah, we left them our cow and potatoes. A whole field of foods. Pick whatever you like. Time for the rules. The rule of our house, the father cooks pilaf on the barbecue grill. You can do anything. By the way, Igor was born in Tajikistan, so his dad is a native Tajik, naturally. Native who? My dad is Russian, and he was born in Tajikistan. Think before you speak. That is right. On the weekends, we gather to engage in creative activities. Wow, I love this. That's my favorite rule. Rule number three, the mother redecorates the house every season. Sure thing. We live in a forest. I'll make them an ikebana, all right? That is awesome. I can live with these rules. So we won't have to do any work. We left more money than they did. It's a different currency. So this must be about $25? I think so, right? They left so little money. I don't understand it. The food costs the same everywhere. There are no stores. We don't need money. What do you mean? So they need food and we don't? Should we look for it in the woods? According to the rule of our house, whenever we welcome visitors, the father harnesses a horse to the carriage. How will I harness them? They're so big. You have to clean and feed the animals. This is the mother's responsibility. 
Do you mind if we swap our responsibilities instead? So you will harness the horses? I will harness anything. Just feed them for me. I don't want to do this. Why do I have to do these crazy things? Potatoes are our second bread. It is time to harvest them. I'm ready to swap this for that. Do you mind? We should see how much we need to harvest first. There are a lot of potatoes to harvest, but how many do they have in the fridge? No dying from hunger here. They have eggs. Cheese. Cottage cheese. I see a note over there. Drani key. What's that? What is it? It is for the animals, not for us. I mean, it smells nice, but... A pink soup. Like your favorite color. It must be made from Belarusian unicorn. Do you like it? Do you want more? <laughs> I don't like pink anymore. Will you try it, Polina? I did not officially sign up for this. Come on, come here. The glamorous Belarusian kitchen failed to impress the Kravchenka girls. It needs meat. There's enough meat running around outside. It was beet soup. Kind of like akroshka, but not nearly as delicious. They have wine, though. Where? Here. Take it out. Who wants to try the cheese? Hmm. Wine for the mother, cheese for the children. Just don't mix them up. Meanwhile, in the Urals, the Bunyakovs are following the first rule of the house. They are making pilaf. I see we have rice. We need carrots and onions. Got it. We have garlic and a grater. We can make draniki, but there are no carrots. Meat? Let's check the freezer. Be careful. Kupati? No, that isn't it. And what's that? It is bread. Bread? Bread in the freezer? Well, that's new. Oh my god, they have snails. The raccoons would appreciate this, but the Bunyakovs, not so much. Without potatoes at home, they are dangerously close to dying of hunger. There was little food for us in the fridge, so we decided to go out and look for a store. Hello, guys. Hello. Do you know if there is a store nearby? Go straight ahead and you'll see a big store. Five minutes on foot and the Bunyakovs are drooling, thinking about local potatoes. Hello. We are your new neighbors. Hello. Do you sell meat? Yes, we do. It's in the fridge over there. Do you have any local entertainments? Places to visit, any landmarks. People often walk in the forest. We also have a zoo. Even a zoo? Even a zoo? The locals have their own keys for it. You can visit it and see the animals. It's right down this road. Great, we'll definitely go there. Thank you. You're welcome. Homemade bread. Let's buy potatoes. Carrots for the pilaf and meat. So we came from a zoo only to visit another zoo. Nice. Let's get bananas just in case they have raccoons. The Bunyakovs are just dying to feed someone. It's a good thing that they can currently afford it. Thirty-nine sixty-seven. You pay for it. Here you go. The pilaf can wait. The Bunyakovs are heading for the zoo while Yevgenia Kravchenka is in the process of accepting her new role as zookeeper. Look, you'll need to put the manure here. Yeah, yeah, just look at my face. I realized that my greatest fears had come true, but it was too late to try to escape. Nowhere to run. Good day. Good day. My name is Nikolai. Nice to meet you. I'm Andre. Yevgenia. I help around the house. Now we're going to help you. <laughs> Don't leave us here. We were so afraid we would have to do everything alone. Hallelujah. We thought we would take care of everything on the farm while we just welcome visitors. This is a nice train of thought, except that they didn't realize that tomorrow is a day off for everyone except the zoo owners that have to receive guests. In that case, Nikolai can only offer his wise counsel. Mom? What do you mean? The raccoons. The owner always feeds and cleans them. Tomorrow, the mom will feed and clean them? You'll have to do that tomorrow. Not if I get my husband to do that. There's no way to renegotiate this. Andre, they're pooping right there. That was the moment when I was absolutely terrified. That is the pig. Mommy, where's the pig? Mommy, I want to see the pig. Each new door opened up new layers of terror. They are so cute. And who got her pregnant? The father. Where's he? He is, he's out walking free. A typical family, I see. Home swap. Yevgenia, here's their food. Are you kidding me? I am not doing this alone. You must help me. Why us? The swill smelled fine, almost like a homemade borscht. Fresh manure. How great. Oh, fresh manure. Here are the birds. Pour it like this. The cow's portion is bigger. Then pour some flour over it, but only before milking her. Milk her at 9 a.m. Lead everyone out of the enclosure, then milk her, and then lead her out too. He was talking as if everything was already obvious, and I should know things like that, and that I would just get it. I barely remembered anything. Call me if you need anything. Let's get out of here. Quickly. Through the gate. 
Alas, there is no getting out of here anytime soon. In the meantime, they can hide inside the house, and the Bunyakovs are aching to find animals instead. Guys, it's a deer, a deer, geese. Dobrynya, look, a deer. Here's the deer, mom, a deer. Good day. Good day. My name is Natalia. Nice to meet you. I'm Igor. These are our kids. We're from Belarus. We've come to visit you. We have our own zoo back in Belarus, but the only exotic animals we have are a camel, raccoons, and a weasel. We have a camel too. Really? Really. Let's go there now. That is a girl. Her name is Prosha. Prosha, Prosha, you won't spit at us, won't you? Oh, you're a good, well-mannered girl. Here, do you like it? She's so nice. I was surprised that they had a camel too. Such a funny coincidence. Their girl is brown, and our Isabella is white. She's young. That camel is old. Come on, please, let me touch your horns. Do you sell animals? We only sell their newborns. The Bunyakovs are used to shopping at zoos. <laughs> These look like Chinese cochin chickens. I want a rooster like that. What a handsome lad. Roosters are not migratory birds, but perhaps Belarusian Airlines can assist with one's migration. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work as we will. You're doing great. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The Bunyakovs return home happy even if they didn't get any new pets. And the Kravchenkas found a spot on the terrace that keeps the animals out of sight. It is time for dinner. Hello, dear guests. Hello. My name is Andre, and this is Evgenia, my wife. I'm Igor's mother, and this is his grandmother. My name is Valentina, and her name is Mary. We have come to welcome you to our Belarusian land. We brought you this dish. My mother ate this back when she was a little girl. Those incredibly nice women brought us delicious food. Try this, please. This is called machanka, and this is an omelette. Go on, try it. It should be good. It's so fluffy. There was an omelette cooked in a pot on a stove. In a pot? They also brought sausages. Everything was delicious. All the ingredients are from this farm. Eggs, milk, butter, everything. We made the sausages out of their hog. Have you seen the hogs yet? We butchered one a few days ago. <laughs> Thankfully, only the hogs suffered this gruesome fate. A raccoon hat and a camel fur coat will have to wait until better times. You will have to receive guests. Evgenia, you should dress up in our national costume. Here, take this headscarf. Wrap it around your head. Is this necessary? Of course. Andre, you will have to wear a straw hat, a sombrero, if you will. What? Why would we need these funny clothes? We ask that you treat the guests with kindness. If the guests stop coming to us after after visiting you, we will have to visit you in your Yekaterinburg. So you know where we live? Yes, we know where you live because our family is there. The zoo, whose idea was it? It was Igor's idea. He loved horses since he was a kid. He saw a carriage, he bought a carriage. So a carriage led to all of this? I suppose it did, yes. She also gave us tips on how to dig up potatoes. Use the horses for digging, not shovels. It is not the Stone Age. Harness a horse, pick up a plow or something like that and dig it up. Genia will lead the horse and Andre will guide the plow. <laughs> she said it would be easy and we believed her. We absolutely did. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the food. It's delicious. Take good care of your family, your wife. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Here's your dinner. I'm not cooking tonight. Meanwhile, the people in the Urals put off the pilaf until tomorrow and cooked food much closer to their Belarusian hearts. The potatoes are fine, so delicious. Mom, I want more potatoes. Belarusian people are often called bulbashi, and bulba means potatoes. We know 250 recipes for potato dishes. Potatoes are everything. Too bad you can't sleep on potatoes. The question of where the children are going to sleep remains open. Who's crying? Let him cry. What happened? Nothing. I was too scared to sleep because someone could see us from outside. I don't like that. And the darker the night gets, the more nervous the inhabitants of their new aquarium become. Get down. I'll make the bed. Where are the sheets? Dobrynya, wash him. I think I'll change him into pajamas.
Wash him first. Who puts pajamas on a dirty child? The pajamas are in the bag, somewhere here. So independent, aren't you? Wash him first. I was getting angry. There was no way to make the bed. I couldn't find any sheets, nor pillowcases, curtains at least. I want to undress and walk around undressed, but there is no way we can do that, not without hanging the curtains first. I couldn't feel comfortable without curtains. The slightest movement? Maybe even a tree? That was creepy. Home swap. This is insane. Get undressed. I am undressed. Not fully. Fully? You want them to watch? <laughs> I'll take off socks. At the very least. The moon is so vibrant. Yeah. It's shining right in our eyes. Can you get moon burnt? Good night, darling. Good night. While the local squirrels get a very private look at the life of the Belarusians, since the Bunyakovs no longer care for privacy, it is bedtime in Chepeli, too. Honey, come on. Let's go to sleep. Here's your bed. I'll sleep here. Get under the blanket. It'll protect you from the flies. From the flies? The blanket can protect them from the flies, but not from the cold, seeing as the house has no heating. By the time we arrived, the house got freezing and the radiators were cold. Did you put him to sleep? Yes, I did. The girls are asleep too. What's with the coats? Well, there was no wardrobe, so I got them. I'll sleep in my coat tonight. It's cold inside. Maybe they have a stove? So we looked for a way to heat the house. This is complicated. Well, I think our stove looks more simple, right? We found a stove in the backyard. We thought our stove was hard to operate, but no. <laughs> the basic principles must be the same. The electricity heats the water, but we'll need wood for the radiators. Ah, fireplace. There's no glass cover, sadly. Had there been one, we could have put a nice sofa here. Get the blankets. And look at the fire. Looking at the fire may be good for relieving stress, but not when you are looking at a stove in an old shack. It seems like the only way to relieve stress here is to get a glass of red wine. Such are the evenings on the farm near a zoo. No toast, right? Had it not been for the children, I would have had a breakdown. What the hell? Maybe the place will grow on you in the end. A farm like this has to be really beautiful for me to like it. I need to see some aesthetics. Some people say we have genes responsible for loving plants and animals. I don't think I have them. Work for it. What can I do? I can't change who I am. Let's go to sleep. I'll stay here for a bit. It's cold inside. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Go on. Day two. The roosters signal the beginning of the second day in Chepeli, but just for Andre. Girls, hello. Hello. Why did you leave? Because it was freaking freezing in there. The girls' room is so much better. Oh, why are you so dirty? I spent half the night feeding the stove. Well, we certainly couldn't feel the effects of it. It was fiercely cold. Around 2 or 3 a.m., I went to the girls' room. There was a heater in that room. That's why the room was warmer. It seems that the Kravchenkas are left to solve their problems by themselves. The best way to warm up is to lead your horse into the field to graze. You are sure to be sweating by the time you're done. I'll go first. My leg! Hush, 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 hush. That's good. Is this our breakfast? Drenaki. It seems to be a Belarusian national dish. I've never made them before, but the family left us a recipe. Check it out. I found you a pair of boots. You'll like them. Oh, thank you. It's so very kind of you. Is it Dronaki? Are you done yet? Look, it's kind of difficult to cook in this kitchen. I can't keep the same speed that I'm used to. We have one burner, too. Yes, but we have enough dishes and we also have free space. Here, go on, try it. You'll be the first. Paulina, go on, try Belarusian french fries. You like it? Is it edible? I want more. Then wait. Mine. Don't touch it. Have you washed your hands? Oh, your mother knows how to cook. Hey, save me some. I've been at work since early this morning. He who does not work, neither shall he eat. Andre did not work, but he doesn't like the way the situation turned out. Girls, get dressed. I'm going outside. I need to change my clothes. I should look for something. I can't wear my everyday clothes here. I saw something in the bedroom. Okay. While Yevgenia dresses to impress the inhabitants of the zoo, Svetlana finally got a good night's sleep for the first time in five years. Did the curtains bother you? No, no, it's much better with curtains. What if someone kidnapped me during the night? To be honest, sleeping here was a little bit creepy. We even hung the curtains. We found a piece of fabric in the house. Well, I wasn't scared. It was all Svetlana. Because it's so odd. You're lying in bed and right in front of you. You see a hunter relieving himself. <laughs>
Igor's light mood doesn't get in the way of his appetite. It seems everyone is feeling hungry. What do you want for breakfast? Draniki. I'll peel them. You grate them. Where's the grater? Dad, let me. It's dangerous here. Oh, so you have nothing to do. You want to go home, right? We could be cleaning stables right now. While the mother is making draniki, the children are having fun playing with a strange object, the heating stove. Oh, it's out. Oh, you're going to get it. You threw all of your toys in there. Not all the toys, just this ball. Pipe stick out of the heating stove. Renat was playing with the toys, found an erector set. Yeah, he threw some blocks into it. So where are the dishes? Who is it? Hello. Hello. I'm a painter. I've come to paint. Paint? My name is Igor. I'm Christina Sveta. Oh, it's like we knew you were coming. We made some potato pancakes. That's great. She came in like, hello, I'm Christina. We had no idea where she came from or what she would be painting. How often do you come here? Or is this your first time? I come here to paint every weekend. And what do you paint? Still life, landscapes, different animals. Oh, I'll paint a camel. We came from Belarus. We own a zoo and a camel lives there. All of us should paint a camel then, but with different materials. That's a little scary. I never studied in art school. I'm not much for the arts in general. I was worried that I would end up painting a tree instead of a camel. Home swap. Try to focus on the camel silhouette. And where is Debrinia? Are you playing here? Oh, then I won't close the door, okay? By the way, guys, doing creative stuff together is one of the rules of the house. We should take a picture. Christina, would you take a picture of us? Yes, of course. Look here. Aha. Uh -huh. Done. You look great. Dobrynya didn't get in the shot, but he followed the house rule and did some painting, too. You can take absolutely any color you want. Apply it in a very thin layer. You can use the wet-in-wet wet technique to spread the paint naturally. Ah, the distance between the humps is too big. It's fine. It's just a big camel. A big camel. Dad, I... <gasps> what is it, boys? <laughs> Wait, let's do it like this. Pull it to the left. That's enough. Go to the bathroom. What's your name, son? Dobrynya found some paint. Dobrynya found some watercolors and painted the glass and the furniture. And his face. Have you washed his face? Not yet. How do you feel? I'm fine. You're fine. How will you wash your mustache off? This is what happens when I try to get some me time and paint a camel. Dobrynya painted a camel too. His style is just a bit more abstract. I was shocked. What if it can't all be washed off? For all the blasted. The stains are too deep. Damn it, you are such an ass. Debrinya, come on, say hee-haw. You can take the Bunyakovs out of the zoo, but you can't take the zoo out of the Bunyakovs. And Sveta is always the one cleaning up their messes. Maybe someone wants to help me here? May God help you, sweetheart. Bastard. Thank God it came off. We cleaned everything up. It's fine. We will use the smaller brush to put some accents on the dark fur. And how much do your services cost? It's $70 for the entire family. These camels cost us a pretty penny. We will take these paintings home and sell them for $70 each. But everyone did great. They loved it. She even praised us. You are very talented. Thank you very much. I had a great time. Your draniki were very delicious. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. While Igor is thinking about how many roosters he could buy for $70, Yevgenia is giving a fashion show for the donkeys and the bulls. <laughs> I have to say, you look stunning. I don't want to do this. You're like a trendsetter. Is that how people call them? Actually, I brought two sets of clothes with me. Yeah, an evening dress and a swimsuit. That is in case we ended up somewhere cool. The other set was warmer and worse, but even this supposedly bad set... Wasn't bad enough for this. The bull didn't like Yevgenia's new look, but the raccoons were amazed. Darling, please, clean up after them. I'll do anything. No, I'm not. I'll make you food. I'll clean Pavel's poo. You didn't make food for me in the morning. You overslept. These are empty promises. They do say that a hungry man is an angry man, and Yevgenia can clearly see that. Andre may have helped with cleaning up after the animals, but Yevgenia is out of luck for today. Your hour of glory. That did not feel good. I'm not going there. Please. I'm not going there. I can't do this. I tried to fight it. I swear I did. But I couldn't even look inside there, not to mention walk inside or start cleaning. I just couldn't. Andre! Andre!
Daddy, let's go. What's with the shouting? I can't go inside there. Could you please clean up after them? What the hell? This is not what we agreed on. Ew. The outer part, the first part, the smell there wasn't so bad, so I went to clean there. How could you poop so much? How do you do this? Why do you do this? Where are you going? This one escaped. It's out. What's going on here? Of course they'll all escape. You left the door open. So she escaped to the farthest corner of the cell. Come here. Come here. Look. A banana! Look, a banana! A banana! We were shaking that banana right in front of her nose. She didn't care. She just stayed there. Then we put Andre in full armor and he went in. What is this? The banana was no help with luring the raccoon. Let's see if Andre will be more successful at this. What? There's absolutely no way I'm ever doing this again. Cobwebs, poop at the top, the stench. How did you feel down there? Not very well. Are you scared? I'm not sure what I'm more afraid of, that he gets stuck down there or comes out and exacts revenge on me. Quiet. Is everything all right? She's getting out. Oh, wait. Where? She's running for the logs. Mom, I'm coming. Stop, come here. I can't hold her in place. Andre, run to me. What do you mean? Get out and run to me. Get out and run to me. It's here. I will... She bites. It hurts. You got bit? Yes. So I grabbed her and she bites me. I didn't expect it at all. To be honest, it was extremely painful. Is it bad? Yes. Her teeth are so sharp. She's right here. Hold her by the tail. Here? No, 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 no. Andre, no, get her. Open the door. If she had a place to run, we would never have caught her. Sorry, nothing personal. Look at the bite mark she left. Where? You call that a bite? The fatal wound inflicted by the raccoon turned out to be but a scratch. You were shouting like there was a tiger in front of you. I was startled, you know. While Yevgenia is crying over her bite, the Bunyakovs in Yekaterinburg finally decided to make the peel off. And they quickly had to abandon the idea. The electric stove wasn't working. Seems like there's no electricity. Wait, really? It must have gone off or something. We discovered that the electricity went off. We never have to deal with this at home. So it was a surprise. We decided to cook on the fire. Igor will make the peel off as specified in the house rules. But the Bunyakovs have their own rules about who gets to wash the dishes. I can cook anything, but I just hate washing the dishes. Nobody ever asks what Svetlana hates, and she has to peel the veggies, too. My hands are covered in ash, in paint, in just about anything imaginable. I'm a hobo mom now. Hobos don't cook pilaf. They just lick the pot. But they still have a lot to do. In the meantime, Chef Bunyakov enters the crucial phase of cooking the meal. I'll get the carrots. Let me take a picture. The chef is the face of the kitchen, and Igor executed this role flawlessly. Home swap. Hello. Hello, hello. We didn't expect any guests, but we felt you would come. I'm Igor Konstantin. My name is Yulia. This is Kira. Hello. Hello. We're your neighbors, Yevgenia's friends. We know the kind of situation you're in, so we came here to meet you, to see who's living here. We're the Bunyakovs. We're making pilaf right now. You're just in time. The main rule of making pilaf is to stop getting in the way of its getting ready, so Igor swiftly follows the guests inside the house. We have a farm back in Belarus. We run a petting zoo there. They'll have a hard time. Very much so. The animals require a lot of care. How are you doing? The house is amazing. The only flaw we see is... The lack of curtains. It's very odd. Other than that, everything's fine. It's very warm here. They bought it ready-made, so they didn't build the house themselves? It took them three days. They built it in three days. They had their third child. They needed a house here and now, so they bought this one. Good for them. They got what they want. No dilly-dallying. And they had to put electricity in the house just as quickly, which is the reason for the constant outages. Where does Andre work? He owns some small restaurants, five or six of them. Wow, great job. They'll be harvesting potatoes today, the poor sods. I don't know how they're going to get by. Potatoes. They probably thought they were going to Sochi, for sure. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Why Sochi? They already have a tourist resort in Chipeli. It offers immersive zoo tourism. Cover me, just in case. Just don't forget to close the gate. I know, I know. Let's go, let's go. But how will we run away if we lock the gate? We'll jump over the fence. Don't get too close. I'll be on the other side, across the perimeter. You can walk around the camel from any side. She's very big, after all. Of course, it was scary. It was very scary, but we brought her dessert. Yeah, it was scary. A giant pile of apples. Look, she was rolling in the mud. There's nothing here but mud. Hello. Oh, look, she's getting so clean. I thought the brush would do nothing, but it cleans her almost instantly. You know, I like this. It's so cool. I thought her fur would be rough and clumpy, but the dirt only covered the upper layer. Then you gently touch her with the brush and, in an instant, it is shining clean. You know, I love it when I instantly see the results of my actions. She looks like a new camel now. Let's go already. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm no coward, but I'm scared. I liked her a lot. Don't forget about the cow. I hoped you would forget. <laughs> Dear God, why me? I can't find the words to describe those smells, but I was working on autopilot. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> Get the pitchfork. What? You followed the rule. Stand to the left. Maybe you want me to sit there too? You look great. It really suits you. Is that it? Am I free for today? Let's check out the rules. I'm not going in there again. Look at the bunnies. Have you cleaned up after them yet? Andre, you can shove it right up your... Hush. While Andre is shoving it, the Bunyakovs sit down for dinner. Wow, look, it's so pretty. The pilaf got overcooked while we were chatting here. I'm sure it's nothing. Mmm, well done. Great job, Igor. I cooked some really great pilaf, as I always do. It's my specialty. Well, I've never cooked it on fire before, but it was delicious. Thank you very much for your hospitality. I always feel at home here, and I feel at home this time too, as always. Thank you so much. We had a nice chat, a great heart-to-heart -heart talk. They are great people. It was nice to meet them. Goodbye, guys. Bye-bye. Careful, careful now. While the reception was warm, the house only got colder. There is no electricity after all, just the right time to burn some wood. There were toys inside. We should check for them. I can see the ball. Oh, damn. There are blocks here. They are covered in dust. We started getting them out. A freaking riddle. Don't you feel like a surgeon? I feel like an idiot. Svetlana, can you get some light? Dobrynia, can you say the magic words? I believe in you, Dad. I believe in you, Dad. Daddy believes you should shine the flashlight. Well, that's freaking hard. That was terrible. He was all sweating and swearing. It was so funny, but we were afraid to laugh. We could put something sticky on a stick and... Shut up. It's a good idea. Light. An idea. You and your ideas. Igor. Can you shut up? Bingo. He did it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now let's add some heat. Come on, light it up. Igor saved the house, but just barely. We got the toys out and got the fire going. It's burning. How great. How romantic. The Kravchenkas are also experiencing romance. A forced date with a horse in the middle of a potato field. The children didn't want to go and we had no time to talk them into following us. Evgenia, hold it. Let's harness the horse. How do you know how it's done? I looked it up on the internet. Let's try this. Lika. 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 Yes, girl. You already ate. Just like that. Good girl. No, no. Come here. You got it on so quickly. Are you done? Let's go. Yes, my girl. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. But we're moving along well. No, this is bad. Crap. Some men are for the forest, some for firewood, and here nobody for the potatoes. Not even the internet could help them harvest them. We broke a three-foot wide section of earth. And then back, back and forth, back and forth. We wasted so much time on this. Quiet! Stop, stop, stop! Quiet! Stop! This is just crap. But we were doing just fine! I can't control her! It's no good! This is amazing technology for people who know how to use it. How to use it. Home swap!
Let's gather up what we have. There is nothing, nothing at all. That's because we buried them. Now we need to uncover them. In the end, we gathered two buckets. So shameful. 80% of them stayed in the ground. Lika ate four potatoes. There are no fish here. It's a good thing we didn't get into a fight while we were out digging. I don't know who deserves the credit for that. The raccoon, you know, nothing could have been worse than that raccoon. Ah, uh, this day is just endless. Problems just keep coming and coming. Remember when we thought, we will get to rest for three days? Mm -hmm. Now it is time to share their impressions of this active leisure via a video call, since the evening of the second day is the single opportunity for the families to meet. Hello. 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 Look at your future brides, boys. Send them a kiss. How are you doing? Resting. The electricity went off. We've been in the dark, as you can see. Really? We lit the candles. When was the last time you lit the stove? About half an hour ago. The night was so cold, we kept the stove lit the entire day. No, we mean your stove at home. Ah, our stove. In spring, probably. Guys, there's a problem. The children threw toys into the pipes. And there was a construction set next to it. Had we actually lit it and the toys then caught fire, it would have been bad. Not to worry, your house is awesome, but it is odd how you don't have curtains. How do you live with these windows? It's so creepy. There aren't many people out there. Mushroom pickers sometimes, but they are out of season now. Ah, uh, mushroom pickers. A painter came by today. What did you paint? We all painted our Isabella. I painted too. By the way, Dabrinia painted too. He spilt some paint in the bedroom and the children's room. Yeah, spilt on the glass, all over the wardrobe. Don't worry, I got it off, it's fine. And how are you doing, guys? Any accidents with the animals? Quite a few. One of yours bit me. She didn't close the door and the raccoon escaped. It was a terrible mess. We wasted over an hour catching after her. That took some effort. Oh God, Svetlana, I can't imagine how you can maintain this entire farm. With her own hands. We just genuinely enjoy it. Even the broom was of no help, not to mention my hands. Svetlana, do you ever sleep? Don't forget this beautiful hunk of a man who does all the work. Seriously, guys, we do enjoy it. That's why it comes easily to us. We dug up potatoes today. Great job. No, no, it wasn't. We gathered only two buckets from two rows. 80% of the potatoes are still in the ground. We couldn't strike a balance with that thing. Looks like they're staying in the ground for winter. Don't worry, we'll get them when we return. You will have visitors tomorrow. You have to give them a warm welcome, harness the carriage, and take the guests for a ride. Take a ride. The carriage has a break. If you press it, the carriage stops. What do they give the animals? We usually fill plastic cups with apples, pumpkins, or squash. You can find them on the porch. One cup is 40 cents. The money is yours if you sell them. Yeah, let's move on. Svieta, a photographer and a model will be coming tomorrow. You will need to organize a photo shoot. I left some clothes in the wardrobe. You will need to pick an outfit, find a suitable location, and organize a beautiful, stylized photo shoot. And I am supposed to do that? Yes. You can do it. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you guys. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye and good night. Get some rest. Day three. This morning, Andre woke up before dawn in order to clean all the pens. Once again, I woke up earlier than everybody else and led the animals out. I followed the rule meant for Yevgenia, brought the manure to the cart, climbed to the top, and tamped it down. Why did you climb it? Because it didn't all fit. The pile was so big I had to climb to its top to tamp it down with my feet. I will just pretend I never heard that. Honey, when did you wake up? About 5 a.m. Do you want breakfast? Of course I do. I barely kept myself from eating the bunnies and the raccoons. What do you want? Porridge and a cappuccino with cinnamon. We don't have milk. Go milk the cow. I'm not getting near her. Why? Just because. Any other ideas? The goat may be a good alternative. It is like a cow, but smaller in scale. Well, hello, dear. Let's go. Where do I sit? Right. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll stay here. I see. Now it is just up to figuring out how to properly milk a goat. Hey, hey, don't run. Stand here and let me milk you. This will take a while. Stop. Stand here. How do I press you? Why isn't it coming out? The milk? Why doesn't it pour out? It doesn't pour out for some reason. Damn it. Not even a drop. I'm too afraid to hurt her somehow. Oh, it's coming out? Looks like I need to go upper. Great, my girl, look at how great we're doing. You want some too? 
Hello. Home swap. The other goats are looking at Yevgenia with a mix of curiosity and distrust. It turns out that this is not really that scary. Yeah. I think this will be enough, girl. I didn't milk them as much as I could have, but I feel like the goat and I were happy with each other. At least I would like to hope so. Thank you, my good girl. Now I just have to try not to spill it. Some practice and Yevgenia can open up goat milking courses for beginners. Svetlana's task is much harder. She is to master the profession of an art director. So this dress is kind of cool. It's okay. This one. I think I would wear this one with a cape. What do you think we should do with this? We can try the forest. A zoo. They have a zoo here. Maybe we could arrange a goose or a rabbit to be with them? This creative approach is just our style. Animals and such. Good day, Natalia. Good day. I'm here on business. Here's the thing. A couple of models will come by. They are here for a photo shoot. We thought about bringing them here to the animals. Would you let us? Sure, of course. Great, thank you. We can't tell you what kind of a director Svetlana is, but she is already a very good organizer. Now it is time to talk it through with the animals, the photographer and the models. Good day. Hello. I'm Sveta. I'm Yevgeny. This is Natalia, my assistant. This is Anastasia, and this is Catherine. It's nice to meet you. Let's try starting with the deer. Let's go to the rocks by the birch. This area is drier and overall nicer. Look for a nice view. Hey, Igor, don't worry. Natalia, stand there. Renat. One of them attacked me. Left a scratch on my finger. I thought I would break his antlers. That was a doe. Maybe she thought you were her mate. Wait, what? It's a good thing you were there. Aren't you at least a little jealous? A different man would poop his pants and pass out. God, I want to skin him. Get in there while they're all here. This is just the time for a photo. No, 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 no. Let's just quickly take a picture and get out of here. They look like they want to fight. We took a couple of pictures there. Then we went to the smaller animals. Watch your face. They may bite. Hold him like this. Yeah. Don't stop. See, I'm telling you, rabbits can be dangerous. This is no toy. Svetlana was a tough director. Not even the bites and scratches on her model's faces could stop her. Anything for a good shot. The animals weren't very friendly. They were making some weird sounds. Here is the pony. Yes. Okay. It's going to bite me. The pony nipped someone on the butt just a little. Had she really bitten? As our workers back home say, ten fingers is a luxury. Of course, this zoo doesn't have as many visitors as ours does. Naturally, the animals aren't as used to people. Thank you for this. Anastasia, you can go now. Have a nice day. Should we visit the geese? Oh, get that, get that. Capture that, they're coming. Right now. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid of the geese. Don't be scared, capture the emotion. Yevgeny, Yevgeny, capture the emotion. It's a bad shot. Yevgeny. I'm getting it. Svetlana did a great job. I could never handle animals the way she did. Catherine, look at me from under your brows. Make a serious look, just a little bit. Svetlana, the sheep are out. Where were you? Natalia, the sheep are out. Quickly, quickly, we're not. Catch them. Good boy. Good boy. Hooray. And you didn't even get dirty. Good job. When the rams ran out, I didn't feel scared. We have rams too. I always catch them like that. We have lambs born at home. The children always take part in the animal's upbringing from the time they're born. They have even delivered goat or sheep babies themselves. It's all natural. They're born vets. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, too. We loved it. You're a smart, patient girl. I'm sure you'll find a good husband. And if you don't, you can always visit us in Belarus. We'll find you one. Goodbye, guys. How do you think we fared? Very well. Obviously, it was an extraordinary photo shoot. Yeah, I think we helped Evgeny out. We did our best. While Svetlana is getting some rest, the Kravchenkas are preparing to receive guests. Honey, hurry up, please. We'll need to dress you up. As what? As a Belarusian person. To be honest, I can't see the connection between the farm, the carriage, and these outfits. Do you know how it's done? I looked it up on the internet. Lika, please help us. You are the only one who knows how to do this. 
that like that, that like that no we just need to tie it no it won't hold in place tie it right here it will fall out there were a lot of ropes i attached most of them but some were left hanging that's nonsense i saw a noose what do we do nothing i am never trusting you to give a ride to our kids before giving rides to one's own kids it is good to train the kids of a stranger greeting dear guests introduce yourselves hello i am maya alexander and this is little vlad i'm andre Nice to meet you. My name is Evgenia. Andre will give you a ride and then you should visit our zoo where we will introduce you to our animals. Please take a seat. Lika, please. Help him. Considering the quality of Andre's harnessing, a prayer would be in order. Beep beep, we're going. Our horse is going so slowly. Of course I was scared. What if I did something wrong? What if the horse breaks free and there was a little kid inside? How are you guys holding up? Just great. I thought we would go a little faster. Carriage. Everything went perfectly. How was your ride? Great. Come on in, please. This is our zoo. Come on, come on. Let me give this to you. Here, hold this. Give it to him. Oh, wow, you have a cow. Moo. A bull. And who's that? That is our pony, Julie. Julie. Speak, speak. Andre doesn't know much about animals, but knows a lot about running a business, so he keeps his cool as he calls animals random names and smiles. Knowing nothing about animals made me uneasy. It is good that they had a kid and it was mostly about meow, moo, cock-a-doodle-doo. Home swap. Oh, chickens. Bok, bok, bok. Look, 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 look. Honey, they have pigs. Oh, they're so lovely. Oink, oink. So cute. Look, a camel. Where? Yes, this is our pride and joy. Look what we have here. Her name is Isabella. Yes. How does she handle our climate? Just fine. In any case, the camel hasn't issued any climate-related complaints during the last two days. Oh, you have other exotic animals. Yes. Wow, just look at its cute little paws. Look. What do they eat? Vegetables and... Human flesh. Don't stick your fingers inside. Yes. The visitors receive a warm welcome. The Kravchenkos got out of this, and it is time to reap the rewards. All right, let's do the counting. The kids' entrance is free. Adults are $2 each. $4 for the carriage, so it's $8 in total. The prices here are so low. Wonderful. I can't give you any change, so I'll just put it in your tab. So come again. Okay. Great, great. These guys were so friendly. We convinced them to come again. They look like they enjoyed our tour. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Now that is the entrepreneurial spirit. The money is multiplied, the clients are happy, the animals are unharmed, and the Bunyakovs are ready to follow the last rule of the house and find some seasonal decorations. The family ventures into the woods. Smells like forest. Mom, I found a beautiful branch. Huh? We'll take it with you. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Some moss, maybe? Of course. Oh, a purple flower. So beautiful. Nikita, you find the prettiest things. I am a pretty thing. I took Nikita with me to pick up some flowers and branches. That's the first time for us. He thinks it's all girly, but he liked it. He said we should try arranging Ikebana at home. Guys, which pumpkin should we use to make a vase? The smaller or the bigger one? The smaller one, Mom. Can I help you with that? What happened? Nothing happened. I just need some help. I will make a vase here, and I want you to cut eyes and mouth holes here. Make it smile. Make it smile, huh? I've never done stuff like this before. Classy, right? Do you want a swear word free description? Let's fix the brows. You would make a great makeup artist. We made the autumn composition together. The boys cut the eye holes in the pumpkin. They try to make it smile. Of course, I lent them a hand. I fixed your big eyes a little bit. Now they have eyelashes. Look, it came out so cute. We hope they like it. We will leave them, and when they come back, it will be on the terrace. It is good for scaring off squirrels and mushroom pickers, too. Guys, is Debrinia asleep right now? Right now? Of course he is. But that is not true. Where are you? What have you done? Debrinia. What have you done here? How do I clean this all up? It's easier to burn this room down than clean up this mess. Even the chairs are upside down. Are you kidding me? No. Then clean this up. Quickly. This is simply a nightmare. You dragged all the toys out, but now don't want to put them back. What are you going to do? Burn the room down. Burn the room down? Yes. Bring the matches? Matches, matches. What are these words? Come on, clean up. But that will take too long. Then try asking Renat for help. Renat, say please. Please, help me, Renat. 
Unfortunately, they didn't have enough time to clean up the room by the end of the third day. Dobrynya's mess will be a gift to the Kravchinkas together with the photos, while the Bunyakovs take their impressions home with them. Home swap. Let's look at how the two families handled their budgets. The Bunyakos leave with 3033. This is just enough to buy two heritage chickens or one tenth of a deer. The Kravchinkas didn't spend a dime, but they increased their family budget from $25 to 33. Home swap. This three-day intensive course on survival in a foreign land is finally over. It is time for the participants to discuss how they felt and to share their impressions in a video. Dear Dreamhouse, we would never expect you would be so transparent. Too much. It feels uncomfortable and very creepy. It's odd without curtains. Don't be scared. This will be fun. We clean out the toys that were stuck in the heating stove. It's nothing like painting horses, right? Don't you feel like a surgeon? Light! Igor! Can you just shut up? Thank God we discovered that Debrinia painted the bedroom before it was too late. And thank God he used gauche and not oil paint. Yeah, thank God. Damn it, the stains won't come off. Debrinia, how could you? Clean yourself up now. Thank you very much for letting us stay here for three days as a family. It's the first time we have ever gone on vacation as a family. It was truly unforgettable. I've never done stuff like this before. Classy, right? Do you want a swear word free description? Thank you for the toys. Yes, we didn't see him for three days. He was so busy with them. What have you done here? It's easier to burn this room down than to clean up this mess. Bring the matches. Matches, matches. Goodbye, home. Bye-bye. Goodbye, home. Goodbye. Dear home, you were surprised to say the least. Not just a house, but an entire zoo. I have no idea how Svetlana handles all of this. I am not going there. I can't. I can't. The smell was so horrid, I thought I would just give up and run away. But the raccoon ended up running away after someone forgot to close the gates. It's getting out! Stop! Mommy, run! But we have got to hand it to the animals. They gave us a very warm welcome. Everything turned out well in the end. I think this experience brought us closer. Right, hun? Right. Before they left, the Bunyakovs arranged a deal with the local zoo to buy a deer for the next litter, and also bought a rooster to express the seriousness of their intentions. Unfortunately, the squirrels ate the pumpkins left on the porch. Andre spent three days on a farm for the first time in his life, and that experience inspired him to start renovating the house. Yevgenia is happy to help him with it. Andre also added Droniki to his restaurant's menus, and now even the Belarusian people are in awe of his cooking. Um swap.